Kabasid Investments has placed a 1.2 billion shilling bid to take over rival botched gases, gases. This and more in our corporate briefs. Listed investment firm Kabasid Investment Limited and Askaya Investment have confirmed placing a 100% bid on BOC. In a statement to newsrooms, Kabasid said that the acquisition would make BOC a locally owned entity, thus better positioning it to take advantage of market opportunities in Kenya and in the region. BOC Kenya is a leading supplier of industrial, medical and special gases in Kenya. Elsewhere, National Carrier Kenya Airways has started direct cargo flights from Mombasa to various destinations across the world. KQ will initially run a weekly flight from Mombasa, ferrying mostly tropical fish to Saraja International Airport in the UAE and gradually increase frequencies and destinations as demand grows. The introduction of this direct cargo flight schedules follows a discussion between KQ, the Mombasa County Government and fresh produce stakeholders from the coastal region to enable them transport cargo faster and more efficiently to customers out. Outside Kenya. Across the borders, the East Africa Business Council is calling upon South Sudan to stop charging visa entry fees on any East Africa member partner states and embrace the use of national identity cards as travel documents across the region. This follows EABC's visit to Nemule Elegu one stop border post yesterday. This is set to expedite the movement of goods and people and reduce transport costs across national boundaries. And finally, LG Electronics has launched the first e-showroom in Kisumu to offer Western Kenya customers the convenience of browsing and purchasing home electronics and appliances. The LG e-showroom comes at a time when more Kenyans continue to adopt online shopping, with over 73% of them considering e-shopping as a better way to find value for money since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.